Hello, and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're going to be solving lead code problem 138, copy list with random pointer. Let's read the question prompt. A linked list of length n is given such that each node contains an additional random pointer, which could point to any node in the list, or null. Construct a deep copy of the list. The deep copy should consist of exactly n brand new nodes, where each new node has its value set to the value of its corresponding original node. Both the next and random pointer of the new nodes should point to the new nodes in the copied list such that the pointers in the original list and the copied list represent the same list state. None of the pointers in the new list should point to nodes in the original list. For example, if there are two nodes x and y in the original list where x.random points to y, then for the corresponding two nodes x and y in the copied list, x.random should be y. Return the head of the copied linked list. And we're told that the linked list is represented in the input output as a list of n nodes. Each node is represented as a pair of value random index, where value is an integer representing node.val, and random index is an index of the node ranging from 0 to n minus 1 that points to random uh, that the random pointer points to, or null if it does not point to any node. Our code will only be given the original head of the linked list, and we're expected to return the head of the cloned linked list. So we read that really long problem statement, but now let's look at an example in case it wasn't clear. We read the long question prompt, and now we need to figure out how we're going to solve this problem. But before we do that, let's look at an example. So we could be given this linked list here, and it has you know a node 7 whose next pointer points to 13, whose next pointer points to 11, on and on and on. And we can see that it has a random pointer pointing to you know this one, this 13's random points to the 7, and on and on. Through the linked list, we have these you know next pointers and random pointers. So how are we going to solve this problem? Well, this question is one of those you know clone slash copy questions where we need to take some original data structure, copy all the elements, and then return the cloned data structure. And the way that we want to do this is we're going to maintain a dictionary which maps new values, or sorry, old values, to their new copy. So what I mean by this is we're going to iterate over our linked list element by element. So what we're going to do is we're going to iterate from left to right on our linked list, and we're going to process each node. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, OK, so we're going to start with this node 7 here. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, OK, have we cloned this node already? No, we haven't, because obviously, you know, we just started. We haven't cloned anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to put, you know, the old um, seven and I'll use a circle to denote that it's the old one and I'll use a square to denote that it's the copy. So we'll put the, you know, the old node as the key and we'll create a copy of it by, you know, calling, uh, you know, creating a new node. Uh, and then we'll take the old nodes value. So we'll say like node dot val um, and we'll create a new copy of it. Right. So we'll create that copy and you know we'll put it into our dictionary. Now what do we need to do? Well, what we need to do is we also need to copy its next pointer and its um, you know random pointer. So what we're going to do is for every node that we're processing, we're going to check, okay, does it first have a next pointer? Because if it doesn't, then we don't even have to copy anything there. If it does and we haven't cloned it yet, then we need to clone its next pointer. So, okay, does 7 have a next pointer? Yes, it does. It's pointing to 13. And we haven't cloned it yet, so let's clone it. So we're going to clone 13 by putting the old value as the key and the clone of 13 here. And now what we need to say, now that we cloned 13, what we need to do is we need to say 7's next pointer is going to be pointing to 13, right? Because, and it needs to point to the copy of 13, right? Because 7, the original one, has a pointer to 13, but we need to point to the copy of it. And we're going to do the same thing for 7's random. So we can see that if we follow this, 7's random actually points to null. So since it doesn't have a random pointer, we don't have to worry about that. We don't have to copy anything. We can just continue. And you know, now that we have fully processed 7, we can move on to the next element in our linked list. So we go on to the 13, which we've already cloned. 
So now what we need to do, now that we're at 13, is we need to check, okay, have we cloned its next pointer yet? So have we cloned 11? No, we haven't. So let's put it into the dictionary and clone it. So we're gonna say, okay, uh, we need to clone 11 and we're gonna do that. And remember, now that we cloned it, we need to say it's 13's next pointer needs to be pointing at, you know, 11 here. And, you know, we set that there. Okay, but what about the random pointer for 13? Where does it point? Well, it points to the seven. So it does have a random pointer and we've actually already cloned it so we don't need to reclone it all we need to do is just now set the random pointer of 13 to be 7 so we're gonna have you know a random pointer here equal to the copy that we made of 7 and now we have fully processed our um, 13 so now we can move on to 11 and we're going to continue with 11 then we're going to process you know its next pointer its random and we're going to continue from left to right and eventually we will have cloned the entirety of our um, linked list and what we can do then is simply return uh, you know we were given the head so now we just need to return the head so we would return we would look into the dictionary for the copy of whatever the head was so the seven and we would just return this which would be our linked list and that's going to be the algorithm that we want to use to solve this problem. Let's go into the code editor and look at how we might implement this. And it's going to be basically the same thing that we just went over here. Uh, so I'll see you there. So we went over the problem and we talked about an algorithm as to how we're going to solve it. But now we actually need to write the code. So let's do that. And it's actually a relatively simple problem. The first thing that we want to do is check whether or not we were actually given a linked list to copy. If you know our head node is empty then there's nothing for us to copy we should just return none so we're gonna say if not head we're going to return none cool now remember that we were going to maintain a copy dictionary which was gonna map all uh, you know the old value to the new copied value so let's set that up so we're gonna say copy dictionary is gonna equal an empty dictionary and now let's clone the head node so we're gonna say copy dict of head is going to equal so we're going to create a new node and we're going to pass in head.val and we're not going to set the the next and the random ju just yet now what we need to do is we need to create a placeholder for our head because remember that we're going to be iterating through the linked list calling dot next each time and what's going to happen is eventually we're going to end up at the end and if we didn't have a placeholder to our head then we don't know which value to return from our dictionary at the end so we need something to hold the place of what head is so that way we don't you know we'll be calling head equals head dot next and then obviously we'll be overwriting it and we're going to lose that original head so we need something to maintain its place so we're going to say placeholder is going to be equal to head so that way we can just look up uh, at the end what the head of the copied list is so now what we're going to do is iterate through the linked list as you would normally right so we're going to say while head so while there's still something to process we're going to now process its left and its uh, random pointer so we're going to say if head.next so basically if it has a next pointer um, you know if it doesn't then we don't need to do anything with it so we're going to say if head.next and head.next not in copy dict so in this portion we are basically going to be copying the next of head but if it's already been copied then we don't want to do that because there's no point of recopying it we would just mess up um, our copy there so in the case that it has a next pointer and the next hasn't been cloned we need to clone it so we're going to say copy dict so we're going to clone head.next and we're going to set it equal to a new node and it's going to have head.next.value Cool. So in this case, you know, we've just cloned it. So we can either not have a next pointer or we can have one um, and we have to copy it. Now what we need to do is remember, we need to set the copy of head that we created previously here. We need to set its next pointer to the copy of head.next that we just cloned. So we're going to say copy dict of head, which is going to give us the copy of the node that we're working with its next pointer is now equal to copy dict dot get uh, head dot next so the reason we use dot get is because its default 
if the node is not in there is to be none, right? If head.next doesn't have a um, next pointer, then we should just set it to none. And if you try to just do copy dict and looking up head.next, you potentially haven't cloned it already and you could have a like you know key error. Um, so that's why we have the dot get to make sure that if we haven't copied it because um, you know perhaps the node just doesn't exist for head.next, um, then we want to return none. And remember, dot get will do that by default, but here I'm just going to write it explicitly uh, in case you didn't know that. So we've now copied the next pointer and we need to do the same thing for the random. So we're going to say if head.random, so if it has a next random pointer and head.random is not yet cloned, so not in copy dictionary, then we need to do the same thing. We need to clone that random pointer for head.random, right? Oops, head.random. Uh, Jeez. head.random is going to be a node so we're going to copy it so head.random.value now we need to do the same thing so we're going to say the we're going to get the copy of head and then we're going to set its random pointer to be um, copy dict oops dot get um, let's see head.random and none if it doesn't exist cool now we have cloned the head.next and the head.random for our head node. Now what we need to do is just move forward to the next item in the list. So we're going to say head equals head.next. And you may be wondering why we don't clone head. Well, we cloned head in the beginning here. And now we're always cloning head.next if it exists, which means that we'll always have you know each node copied by the time we get there. So we don't need to like recreate um, copying the actual node because we'll have it through the head.next or you know by chance that it got cloned through head.random. So we only have to clone the, the next and the random pointer. And that's all you have to do. You just have to go through the entire list um, you know as you would a standard linked list traversal and just copy the next and the random um, pointers. So all we need to do now is simply return the head of the copied linked list which remember will be accessible by you know looking at whatever the head was previously and then getting the copy out of the dictionary. So that's why we have the placeholder. So we can simply say return because now copy dict once we have exhausted this linked list will be uh, sorry head of the linked list will be null. And if obviously we tried to look that up, we wouldn't return the value that we need. So that's why we had to clone the head just so we have access to it when we get to the end. So we can simply say return copy dict of placeholder, which will be the head of the copied linked list. So let's submit this and make sure that it works. And it does. Cool. All right. What is the time and space complexity for this algorithm? Well, we know that we have to process the entirety of our linked list, right? We have to process every single node, which means that it's going to be a big O of n runtime, right? We have to process each node. Pretty simple, big O of n. Space wise, we're making a copy of the list, right? And you know, we're doing that using a dictionary here. Uh, so essentially, we're just copying the data from head. So it's going to be based on the size of head. So this is going to be a big O of n um, space complexity. So that's how you solve this problem. This pattern is really, really common for all of those like, you know, clone problems or copy, um, you know, this tree, this list, yada, yada, yada. Uh, you'll see this come up a lot on leak code. So knowing this pattern where you essentially just do the, you know, head.next, head.random, if it's in there, um, you know, extract it from the copy dictionary. This is going to be a very common pattern you see on leak code. So definitely one to know uh, because you can solve a lot of tree problems, um, graph problems, right? You have like clone NRA tree, which is going to be the exact same thing as this, obviously, except now you're using a tree. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling here. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. If there's any videos you'd like me to make or topics you'd like me to cover in preparation for your interviews, please let me know in the comment section below. I would be happy to make the videos for you guys. You just have to tell me what you want to see, and I will work uh, and do my best to get those out for you. So otherwise, you know, have a nice day and happy coding. Bye.